It's been a cold but beautiful day across the Gulf Coast. This is the view from our Netherlands air conditioning camera. No clouds in sight there. 43 degrees, but with the winds of the north at around 15 miles per hour, it feels like the 30s, so it's quite chilly. And Destin, similar picture there. Beautiful skies. I uh, show a beautiful sunset, but it's going to be cold into tonight. Temperatures right now in the 40s for many of our coastal spots. 30 and 9 in Calvert, 39 in Leakesville, 37 in Chatham, 36 in Grove Hill, 43 over in Crestview, Florida. And the winds continue 10 to 15 miles per hour in some spots. So the wind chill is going to be a big factor again into tonight. Take a look at this. So chilly conditions will continue into tonight as we have air temperatures dropping into the low 20s. But with the wind chill factored in, dropping into the teens for many spots. And some spots will have teens for air temperatures with wind chill values in the single digits. So it's just going to be very frigid. Lows again, teens for our northern spots. 17 Grove Hill, 22 Mobile, 26 in Pensacola, 29 over in Destin. And we do have some more hard freeze warnings in place for tonight for temperatures as low as 16 degrees for some of our northern spots. This is an effect for the entire News 5 viewing area with the exception of those coastal communities. But pretty much all the areas included in these chilly temperatures and wind chill advisories in effect for much of the area, with the exception of some of our coastal counties. Wind chill values around 5 to 10 degrees expected, so it's going to be just another frigid night across the area. High pressure has been in place. That's what's led to this very cold temperatures and also uh, dry conditions overall. But we do start to see some changes into next week. Tomorrow, we'll have to worry about that. No chance into the Green and Phillips umbrella. Here's what the forecast looks like. Mainly just some scattered high clouds. Temperatures warming into the 40s, so warming just a bit by the afternoon. Then some more extra clouds by the time we hit around 5 p.m. And then moisture starts to move in throughout the course of the coming week. So dry air is in place for the rest of the weekend. But then as we head into around Monday into Tuesday, moisture starts to move in. We start to get more south winds. that will bring in some more warmth and moisture. And the rain chances really stick around for much of the coming week. Here's Wednesday. Moisture is still in place and continuing to funnel into the area. We'll have shower and storm chances really through the end of the work week and even to start the coming weekend. So here's our seven-day rain chances. Nothing for Sunday and Monday, but then Tuesday through Saturday looking a little bit wet. So you want to have the rain jackets and the umbrella is ready by the time we hit Tuesday. Frigid start to tomorrow with temperatures only in the 40s by the afternoon. Then we start to see a gradual warming trend. Temperatures getting back to around 70 degrees for much of the coming week. The rain chances peaking on Thursday, but you want to have the rain gear ready for much of the next week.